Good morning, print fam. Happy Monday. Welcome back to the print shop. My name's Darren. I'm not sure where to start today. I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed. So I'm gonna start with one list at a time. Got the YouTube video published for today. It was a little late, sorry. There's already fighting over first, second, and third. Good job, guys. Fighting in a good way. Competition. Uh, we've got a bunch of prints to do on the Konica. I know we got a bunch of stuff to do on the HP Latex. It's already 11 o'clock. Uh, I spent the morning out in the yard helping my wife kind of trim between the grass and the flower beds, make that look a little nicer. Borrow my brother's dump trailer so we could easily take everything to the dump. Um, so it's been a productive morning, just not with work. Um, I've got a conference call here. Any second they're gonna call me, we're gonna get towards Working towards the Konica, Marty yawning. That one's for you. Let's see, who should I dedicate that yawn to? We'll do that one to Lambootie. That, that lawn's for you. That yawn is for you, Lambootie. Um, Darren, I'm sure he really appreciates the yawn, but just give the man what he wants. Where is shirtless Bob? No, I forgot what I was gonna say. I'll figure it out. Konica first. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Oh, I remember. Today's vlog, I talked about that I thought I broke my wrist. It's feeling much better now. That one's for you, Create It. Um, it's not tender anymore. It's feeling better. I never went to the doctor, so hopefully it's not broken, but it feels better, so all's well. So, me and Bach, we were having a really good time. Did three hats, not a single thread break, not a single issue. And in my head, I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is what embroidery should be. Maybe I should change the needle. <clears throat> it's working great, why would I mess with it? The needle broke right into the first embroidery like the first letter of embroidery man Bach, why do you do this to me it's so sad
today's been pretty good so far. We still got some things to do. Um, as you saw in the time lapse, we did some business cards. We did some large format things. Um, got the hats all done. My goal, I was a little overwhelmed this morning with just all the different stuff to do. Um, my cutter payment comes up tomorrow. So my goal today was to finish up enough jobs that I could receive payments for the cutter because funds are really tight right now. I was able to finally pay my credit card off so I wasn't paying fees this month. Um, I've been paying fees for the last few months just with COVID and trying to float things and make it through. Luckily this month I was able to pay it off so that I'm not gonna pay any fees. Um, but that was my goal today. So I got the hats embroidered, I got some large format things done, um, some business cards done. The customer came and picked up his business cards. The other sets were for Bob, which Bob, one of his customers paid. Also messed up on the art, so we gotta print it again, so we lose a little bit of profit there. But those things happen. So things are looking really good um, on that front. Uh, as far as some things that I still want to get done before the end of the day, um, it's 7.30 right now. The family went to go swimming, and I just said, hey, I need to get a few more things done, and I'll go with you later on in the week. We, they try to go two or three times a week. Um, I've got a few more. Like, I've got a large format job printed. I want to cut here. i got another set of yard signs to print as well, so I'll pro probably print those at the same time. Get them cut, get them applied so the customer can pick those up. Um, I do need to make some deliveries tomorrow to deliver the embroidered hats. And then the first job that I printed, it was a reprint from a job that I did last week that they decided they wanted to change it to a single color instead of multicolor. So great for me, wasn't my fault. They're ordering it again, so I'm happy. Um, I did upgrade my Penji subscription. So before I was at the one active project and I've upgraded to two because right now in Penji we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Bob said he had one and I have probably a couple more that I could throw in there. So I've got seven projects in Penji. So now I have two active at a time. So hopefully we can get these knocked out, get some more jobs going. I'm a little stressed just because via monday.com I've only got about $3,500 worth of work in the pipeline so we'll see we gotta we gotta get that up my goal is to always have it at 10000 so that that can kind of cycle through um, I do have some jobs um, to press on the heat press hopefully those transfers are there I know they were delivered I'm gonna go to the post office to see if they're in my box when I get UPS deliveries to the post office. They're sometimes, they're delivered to the post office, but they don't put them in my box until the next day. So I'm gonna go check that out. Hopefully they're there. We can get those shirts pressed or started pressing um, because that's due Saturday. They've already paid, which is awesome. So I guess let's run to the post office. It's been a while since we've been at the post office. Especially when it's light outside. I think the last time you went to the post office and it was still light outside, um, I was still covering Bob's face with stickers. So it has been quite a while. Usually I'm here. There's too many people here to talk to you guys. People would look at me funny. Let's see what we got. Joke. Check. My fear came true. My mail is in jail. It's the one downside to a PO box. It saves me money. It keeps my house address safe. But sometimes, sometimes you have to wait longer. Oh well. Print fan. It's that time. It's time to call it. Call it a night, that is. We were able to finish up some design work. Got that semi-approved by the customer. They wanted me to make one slight change. I had their logo 
off the edges of their business car and they're like, make it smaller so it fits. And it's not as cool looking, but it's not my car. That's what I have. If there's one nugget of wisdom I can give you and how I win a lot of my logo designs is you emphasize to people will make sure you like it just because you don't like any of these specific logos or just know that this is the style that the customer wanted. So keep that in mind when you're doing design. It doesn't matter what you like, as long as the customer likes it. And that's what matters. But in the meantime, if you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the videos. I really appreciate you. Appreciate all your hard work, all your time, all your effort. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links down in the description. Amazon affiliate, Patreon, custom orders, all that fun stuff. Make sure you do comment because I learn a ton from you guys and I really appreciate it. In the meantime, there's not much that's going on tomorrow. I got to finish cutting down the stickers that I printed today got to deliver those got to deliver the hats that we did today and probably print some business cards maybe bob will have some of his stuff ready he's got a wedding announcement some insert cards um, some business cards that we got to reprint so maybe we'll get all that done tomorrow he also sold it to the customer that we're stuffing them so and by we it'll probably be him because he probably didn't charge enough so, we'll see. That's kind of what's on the docket for tomorrow. Also got B&I first thing in the morning, so I've got to go to bed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing with friends. I'll see you tomorrow, Profam. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.